This entire damn time, excuse me, hello by the way. <laughs> this entire damn time, the music has been blasting at like one, one hundred percent volume. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> anyway, I'm not ready yet. I'm sorry. I have to feed the dog. Um, give me two minutes. Keep listening to the music. Enjoy the music. Hello? How's it going with everyone being... Excuse me. I'm still not in a, into streamer mode yet. Give me a couple of minutes. A couple of seconds. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, how's everyone doing? <clears throat> Let me close this nice window right here. I hope everybody is doing good. 
hope uh, everybody is doing fantastic. The cold is almost gone, thank God. It lasted one fucking week. I do not get it. It was a simple cold, like I, I didn't have a fever, I didn't have anything. And it lasted a, it lasted a damn week. It lasted a damn week because I am weak. <laughs> oh, okay, calm down. Sometimes I don't know, but when it comes to, you know, colds, my immune system range is shit. There is a reason why I hate... <laughs> there, is a, there is a reason why I hate winter. And let me tell you, this is one of the main ones. Honestly. Jesus. <clears throat> It just baffles me, you know. There are so many people who love winter. And I'm like, there is nothing to love about winter. What the fuck? Why the fuck do you like... Uh, why the fuck do you believe by, by, like, for even a second that, yes, winter is actually something amazing? Oh, wait. I forgot to put the... God damn it. Okay, anyway, how's everyone doing? I hope everybody is doing great. I am doing better, I guess. I'm not doing perfect, but, uh, you know. I guess I, I can't say that I do feel better. I mean, don't get me wrong. Things are not better, but having a better mentality, a better, you know... What would you call it? Um, what the? Mm, yeah, okay. Give me one second. Let's try this one more time. Don't tell me. Don't tell me it needs an update. Come on. Mm, okay, wait, we have a small update real quick. Mm, okay, it looks nice, it, it looks good, it looks good, it looks good, okay, good, 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 anyway, by the way, spring, has, is fully here. The weather got warmer. The west wind came in and finally warmed up the place. I found a. I went outside today and I found a sakura tree, you know. And it had bloomed, you know. And uh, I cut off a small branch with like two small flowers on it. And I still have it right here. And it smells amazing. And I'm like, I'm thinking, is this how the entirety of Japan smells like? <laughs> you know, when you go, like, this is actually something that I have actually noticed. When you go somewhere, somewhere far from your own home, even if it is somewhere not that far away, but, you know, even if it is like to your grandpa's, your grandma's house, and or your you know your the, your family's resort or something uh, which is an entirely different area from the city you are actually living uh, throughout the period where you stay there you are actually smelling different odors uh, or have different tastes because of you know the change of scenery and overall you know this change and it feels so refreshing and every time you like get this scent again you feel nostalgic for that and i'm thinking to myself if this i if i have it as well like um for example my family's village you know which is in laconia uh there it's so like it's so how can i say it it's 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 such a farmland that it smells of soil the entire time and it's actually such a nice smell and I always get nostalgic whenever I have this smell of soil. 
And I'm like, this is exactly why I, I'm talking about the sakura tree as well. In Greek, it's called kerasia. But kerasia, it's a little bit contradictory because kerasi, it's actually, you know, the cherry. But the sakura tree does not actually have cherries. So I'm like, why did we name it kerasia if it doesn't have kerasia? Get it? Kerasia, it's the cherries. Kerasia, if you change the tone, it's the tree with... Well, it's technically the sakura tree, but it's it's meant to also be the, the tree with, well, cherries. Anyway, I am, I am just, you know, lingering a little bit. There's no reason for me to actually uh, waste your time with my, with my dumb... Oh, hey, email. Oh, Fugurawa, Furo, Furogawa tours. Excuse me, one. Greetings to Furogawa. Experience the wonders of the great outdoors, and you can take a tour of the city. See the shops, visit our shrine, take in the sites available. Nice. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Oh, it's been a week since I've played it, and damn, I feel. Uh, oof. I feel dazed a little bit. Wait a minute. Yes, yes, yes. High texture, yes. Low graphics, no. Good thing. Mm. Okay, we good. By the way, I have been playing a lot of uh, Fallout 4. And man, I have gone addicted to it again. God damn it. I didn't sleep last, uh, well last night, not because I didn't want to. What the? Oh shit, I know this quest. Where did she go? Find Gwen's whereabouts. Where's Gwen? I can't find her on the boat. And yeah, man, you get it, you get it. Like, I, for the most part, want a change. I can't say, look, I cannot say that the change that will happen right now, it's going to be the change I want. But... Wait. What was the recipe I used before? Wait, no, no, no. What can you... I cannot cook anything with wood. Can we have a fruit salad? No, we cannot. For some reason. But wait a minute. What what we, what will happen if I just put the strawberries in? The change that will happen now, it's not a change I want, but it's a necessary change for the sake of, you know, moving forward, I guess. I cannot lie to you, you know. Um, I have been through this cycle before, and that's why I am so hesitant now. The idea that I will go get a job find a job that I actually, you know, may or may not like. Regardless, regard look, I am never satisfied as a person. Even if the job is not bad, I will not truly be happy with it. Because I know it's not a job I want to do. The job I want to do is a job where I can actually, you know... It's a job where I can actually express myself. But asking for a, such a dream job is, uh, especially nowadays in age, is... God damn it, I was right there, are you kidding me? Excuse me. Searching for such a dream job. Um, it's a little bit much. But I can I cannot just give up, you know. What the 
Valuable necklace. Okay, for one second I thought I saw like I, I grabbed this a falling star or something. I was like, what the fuck was that? Anyway. And uh oh, I empty bottle. And as I said, I have been through the cycle before where I go where I go to a job expecting that I will make enough money to do things that I want but the man the money is never enough and before I know it I have found myself without a job again because of damn circumstances the first time I lost my first job in the hotels it was because of the quarantines the second time it was because the the fucking job was just unbearable let me tell you something Going into a fast food um, restaurant, you can call it restaurant. Let's, I guess we, you could call it a fast food restaurant, but it's not actually a restaurant. It's just a fast food, you know, whether it's uh, sandwiches, whether... Oh, fancy vase. Uh, whether it's sandwiches, whether it is uh, pizzas, whatever it is. And the whole mentality of the workplace, it's... Productivity, productivity, productivity over quantity. It's something that always eventually gets a toll on you. Because in such jobs, these jobs are so demanding, which... Let me tell you. Yes, if you manage to actually work in a, on a job like this, it's a, even for a couple of months. I work for a year. It shows that you are a hardworking person. And I do not feel bad for myself. But once you find yourself in this loop you either going to get stuck in such a miserable existence or you have to break away from it and that's why i broke away from it i i quit this damn job because i could not handle it anymore i could not take it any i could talk, i could not take it anymore mentally as mentally i could say because i wasn't get, getting paid much anyway so if you want actual numbers, I can tell you. It's not, um, it's, I, I, it's not something that I want to hide. Oh, hey, a code. A call of duty. Fish. Uh, it was 4 euros per hour. And in order for me to get just 600 euros, I had to work for 150 hours. Do you realize that? And working for... Oh, excuse me. Rapid food. Hello, how are you? How have you been? Glad you dropped that, uh, you dropped by. Anyway, as I was saying, working in a fast food place, it's uh, God damn it! Why do I always? I'm back after a week of of exams. Oh, I get it. Did I hope you went well? Working in a fast food uh, restaurant, it's demanding. If you manage to work for a couple of months, I'm being great. Ah, excellent, excellent. I'm, I'm happy for you. I know, st I know exams can be tough, you know, but don't let them get to you. Trust me, I have to say this to you. Try your hardest to, you know, you know, get that diploma, get that uh, degree, but... Just because you might not succeed doesn't mean it will be the end. Trust me on that one. <laughs> this comes from a person who never, who didn't manage to get to college. <laughs> and I'm still doing fine, so you get it. Anyway, where was I? Yes. Um, working in a fast food place, even for a couple of months, shows your strengths as a worker, as a, an employee. Right, and I feel proud for me for managing to, you know, for one whole year, um, overcoming these challenges. Basically, that said, that said, the pay was not good, and I had to break out of it because I just could not handle it. Wait a minute, I need to ring the bell. So, what are you playing? I'm playing Spirit Fair. It's a managing game. I am uh, basically in the new Karen. 
Do you know Karen? You know the boatman from Greek mythology? And I have to satisfy the souls, basically these animal people. Um, I have to satisfy their needs and, and bring them some uh, comfort in their lives before they pass on. It's a nice game. Coming. Anyway, where was I? Yes, the pay was not good. I was working for 150 hours and I was getting paid only one. Uh, I was work ne, 150 hours, and I was getting paid only 600 euros. And trust me when I say that 600 euros, it's nothing. 600 euros, it's nothing. So working for so much, it's not like. Let me let me think. Um, how much time do you need? Does someone need to make a decent amount of money? Um, if you were to divide it, divide it, eight hours for five days. That's 40, 40 hours. Within 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 four weeks, you would have a total of forty by four equals one hundred and sixty. So you see, it's not it's not much. One hundred and sixty is like okay, a little bit above six hundred euros. In order for someone to survive, he needs, in this day and age, 800 plus. So in order for me to, to manage to get by, I needed a total of... What the word Gwen could be. Maybe she took a trip with her head. She should look for your friend. You should look for your friend, Stella. Yeah, okay. Sad lore. <laughs> well, I don't think this sad lore is exclusive to me, my friend. This sad lore, it's, uh, it's part of life in general. If you were to ask anyone how shit their job is, they would have many stories to tell you. Unless they work on a job which, you know, it's of their own, you know. But it's kind of difficult for someone, especially at the early years, like especially when if, you know, when they are, you know, in their 20s to, to find a job or not, not find a job, make a job for themselves, you know? Because that's the thing. When you go to work a job, you don't go for yourself, you see? You go for someone else. You go to, to you're being hired to do someone else's bidding, basically. You don't, it's not like, okay, I own a field and I, you know, feed the... Like I, you know, I tend the field and I harvest everything that it gives me. And this is actually my field. So all the work I do, it's for myself. So I have to be satisfied for that. No. When you work for someone else, you'll never be satisfied because you don't do things for yourself. You do things for others. I know that most people, um, most people should not actually think this way. Because, okay, thinking this way will probably make you not want to go to a job any, uh, anymore. But the problem is that I am a writer. And for that, I love philosophy as well. So, thinking things deeply, it's one of my things, unfortunately. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, by the way. <laughs> I'm Alexander. How are you? How are you? <laughs> In case you don't know me. <laughs> That's just how I am, you know? And... Uh, yeah, the idea, goddammit, why is the chat so low? I just realized that. There we go. Back to it. Um, mushrooms. Uh, let me cut off a tree real quick. Let me commit a war crime against nature right here. Olga said in her letter that Giovanni Giorgio would ha could have been around. Knowing him as I do, I have my doubts. He wouldn't linger in a place like this, but who knows. Maybe if you ask around, we might find a clue or two. I'll leave you to it. I don't want to go too far. The humidity here is killing me. Go, go. I trust you will find some interesting stuff. Okay, thank you. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Because I have to read the comments in case someone comments. 
Oh, excuse me. Who are you people? Oh. Who? I don't remember his name. That night didn't call for names, if you know what I mean. Oh. I do remember his legs, though. Oh, brother. Oh. What? Wait. He has a wife? He didn't say anything about it. He did say that he was going to Furugawa. Well, if you ever meet up with him, tell him. Tell him that Aileen misses him. Ah, uh, excellent. What I love about spitting, uh, spitting in the ta the talent you need. What, 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 what do, you, what do you mean? You know, it takes real skill to find the target, aim, and hit the bullseye. Oh, you actually mean the. You're literally talking about say spitting challenge right here. That's skill and raw talent right there. I just love that I'm good at something. Yeah, sure, sure. You do you. What can I say? Oh, another tree to cut. Excellent. And ultimately, when I left that job, I still didn't have enough money. Obviously. And... Oh, hey. This looks incredible. I was just dreaming about this. Uh, oh, yeah, I haven't fed you. Here, you can have popcorn. I can't get enough of it. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Strawberries. What do you say? Garage 5 firing. What? Ah, uh, it's a place in the in the game? Wait a minute. What is... Excuse me. What is... Garage Sway? Think? What, what? I don't... I, I don't get what you mean. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. And there's no more. Okay. We gathered enough resources from, from here. All, all, the, all the resources. Wait a minute. Ah, I fed you. Why are you screaming like that? And I have been, as I said, from in the cycle before, you know? Like, the cycle where I just go to a job, go through all kinds of chores, meet all kinds of people, and sometimes these experiences are fine. But ultimately, in the end, I still haven't made enough. Because daily life already needs, you know, it already asks for too much. I'm helping my family. I'm not the kind of person who goes to, to a job and all the money he makes goes in his pocket, unfortunately. Ultimately, I never have enough money to buy equipment, uh, commission artists or such, or overall manage to do something of my own. And this is exactly the fear that always, you know, captures me whenever I am to go to a, a new job. The idea that I will go to a new job and I will stuck in, the, in a cycle where I, I don't do what I want, I don't get as much as I need, and ultimately the job is useless to me uh, since I, I, I fulfill nothing with it. Or at least this is my mentality out of fear. I'm not sure how to explain it. He was here, you say, and he met someone? No, don't tell me, I don't want to know. Okay, maybe I do, but just a tiny bit, only where he went. Furogawa, uh, Furogawa, Furogawa, you say. That was a tangled twister. I think I know where that is. I've heard it's a lovely place. Well, at least that's what the brochures said. I've always loved these colorful flyers. They make your they make you travel without leaving your seat. Mm -hmm. Alright, Matchkin, let's check it out. I don't remember its name. The guy just says about it. Ah, oh, that guy just says about it. Okay. Oh crap, how am I getting up there? Oh, I think you need the glider ability. Yeah, you need the glider ability. I don't have that. Oh, wait a minute, he's a guy here. <sighs> Hell yeah. Hello, old man. Francis says, it's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. I've got a new er errand for you. Just for you. Fresh off the presses. Have a look and see. Errands. Oh, hey, I. Oh, nice. 
I have fulfilled all of those. Okay, what do you have to give me? Oh yes, give me those. I do actually need it. Give me the lightning in a bottle. What do I have to sell? I have a lot of garbage. Ah, uh, damn it. Excuse me, give me one second. I need to... I'll be right back. I need to check something, excuse me. God damn it. Always at the best time. Excuse me, I'm back. Where was I? Yes. This cycle. This cycle of going to a job. Always. Always going through this. Uh, you know. Tiring process of waking up in the morning. Waking up at the right time. Don't, don't, don't forget, you cannot go to the job. You know. You cannot go to a job if you're not on the on the right time. Uh, taking the bus, then taking the metro, then maybe taking another bus if it's that far. Then, then reaching your destination, then working for eight hours. God knows how many things you will hear and how many chores you will, you will do until the day is done. And, oh, another flyer, nice. Oh, wait a minute. Mm. Dear future customer, this medicine, uh, this is Madison at Fidorama. We are currently running a promotion for our new food delivery service. Stop on by a Hummingbird to hear all about it. A sales rep is waiting for you. Cheers. Okay, thank you, I guess. Wait a minute. Yeah, give me the bottle. Where should, you, where should we go now? How can you fly here? You don't actually fly. You... As far as I know... You... Oh, what is that? Nebula Fibre. Yeah, let's go there. I think we need that. You get a... Uh, you know... You get a nice upgrade where it glides, you know? With her, with her hat, Stella. Stella is the character in this game. And the cat is Daffodil. Where's the cat? There it is. I think you can interact. Yeah. This game has so many amazing details. Furogawa sounds so Japan. How can you fly here? Oh, you mean the um, Furogawa? Uh, it's the the place that sounds Japanese. Well, look. It sounds Japanese, but uh, I don't think this game take pla takes place in Japan. Even though it is also Japanese themed. Maybe it has multiple themes, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And yeah, the, the cycle continues as... So cute. <laughs> I know, I know. The, this game, it's uh, relaxing, you know, and that's why I saved it because I really wanted to play something that, that was going to be, you know, nice, a little bit har heartwarming and uh, not too action-packed like Vampire the Masquerade, was, uh, which I was playing this entire previous month. This area of the sea has... Well, what the... What is... What's that sound? Hmm? Do 
I have to use the fiber here? No. No, wrong. I was supposed to find something here, no? Or perhaps I do not have the character to show me how to do so. Oh well. I guess we're stuck here for now. And the cycle continues. The A ends. You go back home. Again, again, the same way you came you came back. Uh, bus, metro, bus, you reach home. You have already spent 10 hours of your life. If not more, compared compare to not, you know, needing to do some other perhaps chores such as going to, uh, to a store to get something or you had a couple of detours or something, you know? Not to mention that it's not specifically the idea that you it takes one hour to get to your job. It also takes time for you to wake up a little bit earlier to get dressed up, you know, maybe have a bath. All these, you know, things are meant to do. Uh, you are meant to do. So let's just assume that 12 hours of your life ha have been spent. You are left with eight hours, which you need to sleep and four hours for yourself. But are you even in the mood to do something in within four hours? Get it? And this is my fear, because every time I had a tough day at work, I never felt motivated even for a second to go ahead and open up the PC to do anything productive, you know, for myself. But I want things to be different, you know, I want to be more productive, I want to try harder, so I guess... I guess even if I get a job, I have to stream anyway, even if it is for one hour. And in order for me to actually try, try to go ahead and uh, make things, you know, as smooth as possible and have progress, even if this progress is the Dark Souls kind, kind um, you know, for example, one thing that you learn when you play a game like Dark Souls is that it doesn't matter how far you get or how fast you get there, as long as you keep moving forward, right? So, basically the, the idea it would be that I find a job, I go to the job, I work the job, I get back home, I stream for at least one hour. Even if it's something as simple as playing a game which is easy. Or if it's a, like a chatting stream where I just blah 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 that way. We get the paycheck, we pay for better, you know... We pay for better models, for better backgrounds, for better, you know... Uh, for, better comp uh, for better equipment overall for the channel. And ultimately, we make progress this way. At least that's my plan. Let's just hope that this plan will work, because you know what? I enjoy streaming, but if streaming doesn't really provide much, then most people are gonna be like, okay, you know what, you do it for no reason. Well, true. I do it for my, myself for the most part, I, but I do want to reach a point where I can, where I can say, okay, you know what, having, having this many views, this many viewers, it's something I, that I achieved, you know. Basically, building a community. That's my, that's my ultimate goal so far. Building a community. If we, if we manage to do to do exactly that. Then, come on. Then we're golden, right? Because okay, let me be honest with you. It's one thing. It's one thing to you know having a channel where I, you just stream for yourself and having a channel which you stream for at least ten people. Because these 10 people actually enjoy your content, and that is something to feel very proud for. And 
you know, be appreciative of. All that comes from the fact that I actually streamed so for so long, but again, but you know, even though I did have a response basically from other viewers, I did ended up st being stuck a little bit now. And I know for a fact that n things will not change if I don't work harder. It's a weird. It's weird. It's it's it is truly the wheel uh, kind of um, mentality. You know, the wheel rolls, and if you are part of the wheel, at some points you're gonna be down. At some times you're gonna be up. This is how it always goes for everyone. Even big streamers have their bad days, you know. So I take, you know. I, I get some comfort knowing that, okay, you know what, I'm not alone out here. <laughs> I'm not the only streamer that sucks ass, you know? Excellent. It's now morning, we can move on. We cannot get the fiber, unfortunately. Let's go to the... Where should, you, where should we go? Wait a minute. What we really need to do is to see. It's to see what we need. A foundry. Wait a minute. I don't have a foundry. But I could have had a foundry for long ago but guess what I do not have a big um, ship yet hmm what really it needs Wow, it needs just one more block, really. Uh, wait a minute. Where's the bigger boat? Okay, let's go get a bigger boat. There's no reason for me to venture that far if I'm not go actually going to get a bigger boat. If I'm not actually going to start, you know, playing the game the way it should be. Anyway. I know I'm lowly ganging a little. I'm lowly ganging a little bit, okay? Yeah. It is true. Oh, rice! <whistles> nice. Um, but if I don't get these uh, thoughts out of my head... I'm never truly going to feel comfortable enough, you know, to keep doing what I do. It's more like trying to think out loud in order to put yourself in a situation where your mind will start figuring out things, or at the very least, swallowing things down a little bit more easily. Y you could say it's a form of meditation. Me just bragging a little bit about what bothers me or what I fear. It's something that I just do, you know? And most of the time it's just uh, something that, um, you know... Most of the time it's just something that I personally enjoy. Now, I'm not sure if that's actually okay by the viewers, but, you know... It also depends on the day, you know? I most of the time do like making jokes and such. I try at the very least, but... I cannot actually confirm that, yeah, you know what, I, what I do is, uh... What the, who are you? Welcome to one of my famous bus stops. I found them, they are mine. All mine. 
My name is Alex. It's a beautiful name. The best name. But don't call me Alexander. What's wrong with Alexander, you fucking seal? Blech. It's a garbage name. <gasps> Motherfucker! I great I take great offense on that, alright? Alexander is is the full version of the of the amazing the, the it's a Greek name, Alexander. And who the fuck calls someone Alex anyway? A garbage name for garbage Two words. Fuck. You. Yeah, that, that's right. Stay silent. Where was I? Oh yes. I'm Alex and I'll be your bus driver. I wasn't always a bus driver. Before I was an accountant. Numbers were my shame. And taking your place is my game. Choo choo. Taking my p your place. Taking your 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 yeah, okay. No wait, that's a train. This is a bus stop. This is a bus stop. I am your driver. Want to go somewhere? My name is Alex and I am your bus driver. Where do you want to go? Where can we go? We could fast travel a little bit, but oh well. Let's fast. Let's fast travel. Why not? He teleports the entire ship. Good job. Good job. Thank, thank you, I guess. Oh, hey. Um, you want coffee? Thank you, Machin. Hug. You're full, oh, you're full already? Okay. How you already had... Brock shops out of the way of my heart. Yeah, okay. Oh, thanks for one plank. What else? Uh, wait, hug. I guess this is like, this is like the the fact that I am a little bit the way I am. It's not just a bit. It's, it's not just because I am a little bit of a you know pessimistic person in general. I try not to be. But unfortunately, my mentality is not, uh, you know, the kind where I would say that, look, I am the kind of person who thinks of the worst scenario and wishes for the best. But that still, you know, I cannot stop thinking of the, of the worst scenario, you know? Of a life, for example, that I am stuck working on a job that I will never fucking like. And I will never manage out of it anyway. But then again, the best scenario would be that, no, I will work, th work things out, find a way to, you know, overcome all these, you know, fears and problems and anxiety, and message in the bubble. Help me, I'm lost at sea. Hopefully this ball reaches your friend. Uh, here is my location on the map. 58 minus 11. Okay, what else? We need a bigger boat. We need a. Mm. We need a bigger boat. Aye. <laughs> yeah, what else? I don't care about your. Oh hey, I could actually uh, make a better. The silent orc, the field is whale. Well. Man, these prices are going to go up fast. Spirit flower. Oh. We need some line of thread, so let's go get some thread. I'm pretty sure I will be able to get some. I'm not sure if I have my, uh, not a lot though. Hey. Nice. Perfect on all of them. Nice. Managed. 
Anyway, where were we? Yes. Um, and that's it. You know, yeah. I'm thinking of the worst scenario, but I'm not necessarily, you know, stuck in this worst in this bad reality. You know, I said to myself, okay. You know what? <laughs> Things will work out. Things will work out. You just have to believe it. You just have to keep trying. You have to persist on it. Don't force it because you know. Dreams don't come if you force it, or if you force them, but dreams do happen if you actually uh, oak plank. I should get some planks actually. Let me get enough. Oh, come on. Damn it. Oh, well. Perfect. This uh, task it needs a little bit of uh, focus, okay? Sorry for the, for not speaking. You know how I am, I love to brag, but hey. When I need to focus, I need to focus, friend. <laughs> anyway, do you feel that heat, Machkin? Do you smell these fragrances of molted metals and heavy machinery? This is where magic happens. We are going to make some beautiful things here. Let's go inside so I can explain how it works. Oh my, Stella, this is the first class foundry we've got here. Even I myself couldn't have done better. Simply stunning. Let me run you through the basics. This is a complex machine and you have to be this is a complex machine and you have to be careful around it. First you have to load ore in the furnace. Then you ca you have to throw coal in the burner to power it. The machine will then reach its for working per uh, temperature. Then whatever ore you've deposed uh, you pu you've deposited in the furnace will be sim um, it will be smelted into ingots. The bello the bellows and each side of the furnace will make the heat go up. Each metal will, will behave differently, but once the right temperature is reached, the fusion starts, mm -hmm. and you'll have to make sure the temperature the temperature remains at the right level. Below it, the process simply stops, and above it, well, you don't want to. You don't want to see this ha happen, Munchkin. And that's it. I've told you all you needed to know. How about it? There we go. Mm. Hmm. It's not difficult. It's nice. Easy. Yep. Great work. Stella, how I wish all the metal workers I've met were as gifted as you are. You look so small and weak, but you dance around the smelter like a veteran Ford master. I'm so proud of you. This is a splendid machine, and I'm sure you put it to good use. I'll even indulge myself and use it from, from time to time. If you're okay with that. In goods. Nice. Anyway, where were we? Yeah. The... The whole... Perhaps, you know, I, you could take a... Oh, crap. 
You could take a little bit of uh, inspiration from this game, you could say. The fact that, okay, you do what you do, you have to enjoy what you do, and sometimes you don't just have to do it for yourself, you have to do it for others. Which is fine. We got crystal balls. Oh no, wait a minute. It's a, uh, it's glass. Crystal balls. This is the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. I guess the way you could say it is that I got tired from things having a slow pace overall. And sometimes it feels as if they don't have sp they don't have any um, you know pace at all. They are just, you know, on hold. And this is a fear that actually, you know, took the grip on me, you know. The fact that okay, be patient, but fuck me, how much patient can you be? Until you feel, you know, that... What you do is not... It's not going anywhere. Just, I still have the sack where I just smell it over here. I don't want to say that I'm miserable. Calm down. I am not. That's the thing. I'm just anxious. And I am stressed. But not miserable. It's not like I believe that there is no hope. Is that I believe that hope it's way too far. Or perhaps you know a dream for be for a better uh, for better days it's as I said too far. Come on, come on. What wait, wait. Oh, it empties. I was like, come on, I was waiting an explosion or some shit. <laughs> that wasn't uh, satisfying. Oh, well. We got enough ingots for now. Fresh... Um... Onions. This is how we call them in Greece. The leek. The... Leek? Wait a minute. Why is it called leek? A leek is a tasty root veggie. Spinning in a spinning in a leek is a classic and can last for hours. Okay, what what is?
is cooked with rice. What else can we build? Oh, we can build the... Yeah. <laughs> it actually feels correct to be here. Lunel fabric. Okay. What else can we build? We've got uh, kitchen, loom, foundry, windmill, mm, aluminium ingot. I don't have that. Who's this? Sheep coral. Oh, I've got sheep coral. Nice. Really? A grain salad is all you get with rice? Why? Can we get sushi? Let's go with that. Sushi. I don't think you get sushi with rice at the... No, you can't get sushi with it. <sighs> nice. Sushi does have rice. I forgot that. Or perhaps I knew, but I wasn't sure. Where do we go now? Oh, wait a minute. I just forgot. I just remembered. We should... We should... Improve something, no? There we go. Perfect. Yep. Yep. Get the, let's go get the limestone. Give me one second to blow my nose, excuse me. As you can tell, yeah, the gold is not gone yet. Fish curry, nice. 
Hmm. Will we get anything new for that? Stella, you've got to, you've got to be kidding me. This house is just fantastic. You know, I love simple things. Simple things that make me feel good and warm inside. What can I say? I just don't like when it's too complicated or luxurious. I just don't. That's what, who I am. I've always been like that so far as I can remember. When I was young, many of my friends were pretty rich and famous. You know, artists, philosophers, sports, athletes. I've always attracted the finest people. What can I say? But it didn't mean a thing back then. And it still doesn't doesn't up to this day. Mm -hmm. That's probably why I ended up marrying Giovanni Giorgio. He was so simple yet so elegant, so s genuine but also fun and dangerous. Mm -hmm. And he didn't have a dime to his name. Still doesn't, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got to admit, I think I miss him. I know I shouldn't. I know he's a worthless refrat. Mm -hmm. I know he probably doesn't get, give a shit about me now, but. But I just can't forget about him. Hey, Machkin, do you think you could uh, check the mail? Maybe Olga has written to us about him as he said she would. I would be so grateful if you did. Thanks a lot, Stella. I won't forget this. Incredible, Stella. Good plants. Well, there is even an all-natural all natural loom for meditation. You really outdid yourselves. How well I'll sleep in that hanging bed. Yes, I'll, ba I'll be back to full health in no time at all. And maybe... Listen, I have a favor to ask you. It's, it's become obvious to me that I need <coughs> to take my better care of myself. <coughs> I guess I need to take per better care of my own self either as well. Ugh. Let the body listen to the mind. To that end, I need clarity. I need power and energy. Positive minerals are what I'm missing right now. Stones and crystals are connected to the world on an elementary level. Just as the moon is dark when hidden from the sun, living beings wither when their telluri telluric link is severed. So Stella, what do you say? Would you bring me some gems and minerals to fill up my cabinet? Three of them should be enough. And it won't be for nothing, you'll see. I can teach about all of the interesting property properties of each one you bring, me bring to me. Wait a minute. Thank you, I don't want it. What? I don't get it. Well, here you can have. Can you have. Think of the animals. Okay. What the? Oh, you can sit here. Nice. Nice, limestone. That was perfect. Where are where are, what do we need to go now? I guess you could use quartz, no? Yeah, use quartz. Yes, I'm done. Right. Anything new? Ooh, nice. What do you mean, popcorn with... I haven't tried this yet, I think. Where do we need to go now? I guess we should go to the mansion. That's where we'll find... Alright, you know. 
Coming third. Villa Maggiore. I think the Villa Maggiore is where we need to go. And there's actually a bus station not too far from here. Nice. Okay, jackass. Doesn't like Alexander. He gives that garbage name for garbage people here. You hearing this shit? No, I don't have meat, that's why. You have a little something to eat on okay. What do you like? Painful. Do you like exotic food? No, I guess not. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. I even considered doing this. Ending your days in your fam, ending your days in your family house is so cliche to boot. Mm -hmm. I can't explain myself either. I just want to finish it off, you know, mm -hmm. to decide on my own terms how it go, and not let myself be taken away. I've been weak. I'm sorry. Ah, the irony. Crap! I feel so selfish now. Sometimes I wish I could have been like you, but rarely. Ah, crap. Hug me now. Thank you so much. I needed that. You always pull through. Here, yeah, you can have coffee. Now this is one day I'm fine going for. Can't tell how many cups of coffee in my life, but this one's the best. Thank you very much, Stella. Have to win your boat, okay? Food's ready. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. I got the same. What if I? Wait. 
Look, this will come as a shock, but I'm ready to leave. I just can't fight it anymore. But it's okay, I know you're with me. Bring me to the Everdoor, where you met Karen. I'm ready, I think. I guess we have to be, be done with Gwen. Yeah, this game has departure, you know, the departure kind of thing to do. So young, hungry as usual. I went outside the boat, gathered some berries, but I went a little bit overboard. I have too much. Here you go, have a berry. Oh, thank you. How's her? Nice. Hey. Alex How can you be roasted so badly by that one fucking <laughs> Anyway Forget it Please carry it again. <coughs> we are at the Everdoor. Okay, here we are, I guess. I guess I have been waiting for that moment to arrive. Sooner or later. Will you accompany me, my friend? Yes. Thank you. Ah, everyone gathers around for the departure. Stella, look, there's something I wanted to give you. I used to hide it in my old music books. I know, I don't know why, but it always felt to me like a, it was the best hiding spot. Here it is, my old lighter. I haven't thought about this old thing in a while. It barely works. I stole it off father when I was 12. Please, use it to remember me. In the good times, in the bad times, they exist together. Intertwined. If there is one thing you learn from me, it should be that. Yeah. I've had my share of good times. It has to stop someday. That's all you have to say. Seems I couldn't escape it, doesn't it? Me being here now? You know me. I've never been one to dwell on the past. Mainly because it always felt overwhelming to me. Like an irre in irrepresentable wave of resentment. But even at this very moment I still wonder. I don't know if I've ever tried to connect. And I've been so sure of it. My opinion just never changed. You know what I've always said. That people come and go, but don't pay attention to each other. They never really did. That lives are only over para parallel. 
and sent a jet and sa sent what adjacent at best. Well, that's bullshit. I can see that now. And you're the proof of it. And not just you, but mom cared as well. In her own way. And others here, even given the circumstances. I still don't know about father. I should probably forgive him now. Find that last share head of strength left in me. Would that make me a better person? Would that make make any difference? Maybe. But after all this, I don't think I care. And it doesn't matter. Because I had my best friend by my side. I had you. You are a wonderful person, Stella. My life would, ha would not have been the same without you. The light you showed me was more than a beacon. It was a guide. Only I was too blind to see it. My shades were too op 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 opaque. 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 Okay. Let's go. I can't hold it any longer. Thank you, Stella. Thank you for bringing me here, even if you didn't want to. Thank you for kicking my ass and shaking my ego. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that I've loved you as much as I could. Goodbye, my friend. Mm -hmm. See you there. Yeah. We finally meet, face to face. For such a long time I have been watching you, Stella. Close, yet far. You've kept your distance, but you knew I was there, hidden in every shadow, shocking in every silence. Since the very beginning, I have been a part of you. 
even as my existence was but a foreign thought. As, I, as your loved one surrounded you with care and affection, I waited silently. Your joy, your pride, your happiness, moments of laughter, of bliss, of friendship, gone. I know it feels just like yesterday, but the hourglass has turned, and at last you have found me. Go now, for I have not yet fully awoken. Resume your duties, carry on your graceful dance, we'll meet again soon, spiritfarer. Yeah. I have to be honest with you, I do not get the symbolism much in this game, but I know it's deep. I haven't watched that. Spirit flower. I know that it's, uh, you know... Oh, wait a minute. What the... Why are we... Oh, we... Why did we came out here? Oh, well. I could get quartz real quick. I haven't watched that video about the theories of this game and the, me the metaphorical, you know, meanings and such. I have to. At some point. Latouche. Garbage. More garbage. And more Latouche. Good morning. Morning, morning. There we go. Shit. There we go. Nice. Where were we? Slate. Pretty handy. Keep a, keep away from chalk. What is slate? What the? Very well. I guess we know what to what to plant now. When did I got that? Yes, I'm done. Thank you. Later. Oh, whoa, fast. Nice. Cup of tea. Nice. What can I use with the... 
nothing I can just use tea so where do we go Where do we need to go now? I forgot. Let's just go to the newer places, no? Yeah, it would be it would be for the best. Oh, there is also the pork we need. Okay, okay, okay. I know where to go now. I was thinking. When the dragon found me back home, I knew I had to leave. I felt I wouldn't le heal unless I fe left. I didn't know it well then, but I needed love. And no love was to be found in this accursed place. But in my exile, I met your aunt. I had never seen anyone as joyful as Rose. Filled to the brim with un uncontainable life. You remind me a lot of her, Stella. She nursed me back to health little by little. Without her, well, the dragon would have taken me. Right there, I'm sure of it. And I never would have met you. She taught me, not as one normally teaches, but my open, but by only opening my eyes to what was already within, to the written into your life, un unqua unquashed by the dragon, unquashed by my father, to the incon interconnectedness of all things, to the universal love. This immense debt I owe her. Well, maybe that's why I feel the need to teach you. Thank you. Honestly, if there was an attack button on this game, I would have spammed it on you so hard. Your very existence makes me puke. Oh, whoa. Did you see Daffodil? What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> Look at him! Man, that that uh, that guy right there is blazing right now. <laughs> Let's go get the pork chops. Oh no 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 no! Okay, well close enough. There we go. Now we've got it right. I am here, so let me have a, you know, water the plants real quick. Anyway, where is the Miss Lioness? Do you want to drink tea by any chance? Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. What can I cook with, like, touche? Just that. Is there anything more to build? Marble, aluminium ingot, nebula thread. Yeah, we can have a ship coil. Well, let's just build it for now. It's way smaller than I was expecting. Ah, 
Let's have it here. Why not? Now it feels more. Uh, the the, um, <clears throat> the boat feels more complete like that. Now I'm thinking. Pork chops. Yes, yes, I know pork chops. Pork chops, my ass. What I actually truly like it's. <sighs> chicken fillet. Breast chicken fillet to be exact. I still smell the Sakura branch I have. Man, I really need a change of scenery. But I'm pretty sure that won't come soon enough. Uh, who knows? You never know. Like, whenever you compare yourself within a year, <clears throat> you are thinking to yourself, not much happened. But, but then you're thinking twice and you're like, okay, maybe hap many things happened, but still. We did, we're still not where we want to be. Furogawa discovered. Nice. We found it, boys. We found Furogawa. What the f fuck? <laughs> that was actually... <laughs> that was actually good. <laughs> Not just questionable meal, uh, atrocity to to food. Ah, hey, do you want you? This is uh, hot garbage. You, I don't care. Eat it. You said you eat anything. Old fashioned. Oh, what does? All right, here we are. Let's go down. Yeah, okay. That reminds, reminded me of Mystery Food X from Persona 4. I was actually listening to the soundtrack yesterday. Man, Persona 4 is such a... It's a kind of game that defines me, you know. It's an amazing game. Is it his colon that that I smell that I can smell? This peculiar mix of mask and nonchalance. He must have been here recently. Quick, Machkin, let's ask around. Hello, Giovanni Giorgio. That name. Don't say that name. He almost broke my uh, broke up my marriage. Came here a month ago. Big man, thinking he's the boss. Good thing my wife came to her senses. He apparently didn't like the weather. Good riddance, jackass. No, thank you. I don't want to buy your magazine subscription or whatever you're selling, asshole. <laughs> Perhaps he said something among those lines. Whoa, what are you? Um, oh, what impeccable timing. I'm in a dire need of assistance. I can tell from your friendly and familiar face that you are undoubtedly the, uh -huh. the helpful type. Listen, I'm looking to complete this set of five traditional wood prints. They, they date from the Ush Ushiro period and as such are invaluable. I have found four of them, but alas, the last one eludes me. Uh -huh. I am certain it is in this very village. Furthermore, I am absolutely positive that it was recently in the possession of a local shopkeeper, Theodore. But he refuses to even acknowledge its, its existence. What an irksome little man, raccoon, tanuki, mother... F whatever he is. But with your help, yes, with that sweet little smile of yours and your generally non-threatening attitude, well, I'm sure you can schmooze your way into acquiring that last precious piece. That would be the last missing piece of this slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper. I can't wait. It's locked. I should get back to it. Good go. Welcome to the world-renowned Furugawa for Tours. The tour, the, this, the tour will begin shortly. It takes about five minutes to cover the history of this city. After you've covered so many anecdotes about this place, you'll be 
the life of the you'll be the life of the party if you ever attempted one. Ready? Yep. Perfect. Let's start right away. Who are you? Hello to you too. Okay, thank you. A powerful symbol erected to keep ev evil spirits away and bless this island for future generations. You can sometimes see islanders stop by this tree in the middle of their journey home. Maybe to remind themselves of a lost brother, they st their sick child, past lovers. Legend says, uh, legend does say that they have heard it talk sometimes. Another piece of this island's rich culture. I personally have never experienced loss. Some say I always think of my personal problems, never thinking of others. Well, no matter. As long as I can carry on doing doing this time, these tours. Excuse me. Give me one second. I'll be right back. So, back to it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Back to it. As I said, yep, let's go. Whatever, where is that child? I've been looking for him all over. He's been acting all sorts of strange. I think he must have eaten a bad fruit or something. If you see him, tell him his mother is re looking for him. Don't mention that, I've extreme, that I'm extremely mad. I should get back to it. Okay. Get back to it, I guess. The word moist should be outlawed. What? <laughs> if you add the mo word moist outlawed, then why don't you add the word critical too as outlawed? Ah, since this is a vibrant city, we have Raccoon INC location, considered by most to be the finest source of materials and wares. It is also considered the only merchant business, th business in town. Founded by Theodore Raccoon, these shops are stable, stap stap staple of a thriving economy. A, f a, little fun little, a fun little fact, anyone who joins Raccoon INC must legally change their name to Theodore. I suppose it's a way to honor their founder. Truly a sign of devotion. I, mu I myself do not shop at this particular establishment. I make my own clothes and furniture. This isn't particularly noteworthy, but it is a small tint bit in your tour guide life. Okay, thanks for the... Hello there, customer. Is there a color looking to your satisfaction? Are you interested in some things on my address? Oh, a wood print, you say? Yes, yes, I know it. I set my special stock up for an eternity, and then suddenly everyone was looking for it. At first, it was this ped pedantic person, very rude, and worse, they were haggling, haggling on everything. I didn't even tell, tell them of, of the print, gave them some junk instead. And then, later, this giant walrus lady came in and demanded that I sell it to her. The thought crossed my mind to start a bidding war, but she offered me some serious coin for it. That, led me, that lady let me, uh, let me tell you, she was loaded. Anyway, that's all I know about it. I can't help you with the print, but feel free to browse my wares. Excellent job. What? I can't buy any more? Why? Why can I not... What? Wait a minute. Why can I not... Why can I not buy any more? What? What the f what? 
I don't get it. Why can I? Okay. Whatever. Oh. Whatever. Yeah, okay. Hi. <sighs> the power to glide. There it is. We found it, boys. Excellent job. There we go, now we glide. The shrine was built using only the finest materials. From the ashes of the past guardian tower, this shrine tell, tell the story of, your, of our past, and that story is... Give me a second. I'm not sure exactly. Which is why it's so important. In my forgetfulness, I remember the purpose of this shrine. The moral being, of course, always remember your heritage. A power of thought. Let's move on. Oh, okay. Alright, this concludes our tour. For Gaga Furogawa Tours is grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your participations. Thank you again. Okay, excellent work. Excellent indeed. Yay. I never want to go back home. Being here is sublime. If you want to stay at my place, you're more than welcome. Here's my key. If the door stays jammed, if the door stays jammed, you just have to give it a good tug. It always gets stuck. I want to enjoy this view forever. Thank you, I guess. We Oh crap, I can't get that. Nice, a signed vintage poster. Hey, crap, oh well. Ah, oh, you're back. Did you manage to get a missing queen? No? It was already sold, but how? Wait, is there a competing art collector roaming about? A walrus lady, you say? Of course. Of course it was her! Oh, that horrid woman. That dim-witted, egoistic, patronizing, charlatan mother... bitch. She calls herself the collector, if you can oh. believe it. She doesn't even collect anything. I'm sure she brought the print. Uh, she bought the print only to spite me. I should have never told her about my collection. That ugly ass sack faced bitch. Well, I'm not one to wave away competition. That ugly w bitch is 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 in hiding. <laughs> in hiding from you. I don't specifically know why, but the news of a new spirit fair made her skitter away like a funny cockroach. How fitting. Yes, yes, you are the spirit fair, fair. Let me something. Tell me something I don't know. She should have known better than to tell me the location of her hideout, though. She's hiding at the at these coordinates. One minus one fifty. One hundred. Pay her a visit, would you? And when you see her, show her this figurine. She will know. Believe me, she will know. This? Oh, do not worry, it's just some junk Theodore gave me. Five views of Rugawa. Oh, made it. Somehow. You look like you're on a mission. Let me guess. My mom sent you? Yes. It was a matter of time. I like being on this lamppost. I like taking my time. If that doesn't deal with my mom and her conception of time, well, too bad. Her house, her rules, I don't think so. I'm gonna go live in the mountains and not bother anyone. Let's see if she likes that. Oh, that kid is on a mission. I have to give it to him. He's inspiring every one of us. 
to do something for ourselves. If only I could go live in the mountains. But alas, I am no Rambo, even though I w always wanted to be. Let's see if I can get that one, you know. Okay, one, two, three. Oh crap. One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. Oh crap, now come on. <sighs> Who made it? One, two, three. Made it. No, come on. This is bullshit. Bullshit, how did you, how, how could you, bullshit. Ah, come on, ah, crap. It's unfair, how can you, how? I'm right here. God, okay, it's great. What a bust. Sorry, Stella. Ah, damn it. Now, enough is enough. I'm done wasting my time. I won't be looking for that Hodum anymore. I don't need him to be happy. I don't need to hear his stupid jokes and incessant yammering. I don't need to be suffocated by his floral cologne. I don't need to have him constantly showering me with praise. I don't need to see his flamboyant mane. I don't. Mm -hmm. I... Let's go back to the boat machine. A rice patch is constantly ensuring it's a full-time job. I rather eat mangoes and watch the sunset. Yeah, okay. I don't like that mangoes very much though. Uh, a letter from Olga and a letter from Albert. Nice. She's sad. You know, people, you know, when they sit there on their bed all day, you know they are depressed about something. It is what it is, boys. It is what it is. lighter with barely any fluid left in it was locked in Gwen's music box. A delicate asphodel, Gwen's spirit flower, it can be used to upgrade your boat. A very quaint figurine. Okay. Magic Mystery Parade 1967. Classic. Should be sold. Astrid, big news. You'll, you'll be glad to know that my resources have finally panned out. I heard my sister, Masha, might know something about your husband's whereabouts. I should go and drop. Uh, drop you should go and drop in on her. Okay. And what is this? A special giveaway. Dear valued customer, we are running a special promotion and closed in a new type of building, all part of our new fun fantacular uh, series, an air drafts device. We hope you enjoy your time soaring through the air. Okay. What else? <laughs> I've heard we received another letter from Olga. Masha, you say? She's your sister, and she might know something about Giovanni Giorgio's location. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let's go take her, talk to her then. She is, how to put it, special. Me and her. Let's say we've never been friends. And Stella, thanks for playing Messenger. You're wonderful. You're welcome. Pff, 
What the fuck is that darkness over here? The dragon. Let's go to the quarry, why not? First, we have to cook pork chops. Doesn't need water, so screw it. Doesn't need water here either. What's this? Air, air draft. Finally, you can go. So you can go see some clouds. Okay. I'm stretching a little bit. I always get so stiff on the chair. What can I say? Anyway, is this pork chops done yet? No, no oh well. Well, it is 58 minus 11. Let's go there afterwards. Okay. Mm Shrooms. It's my first day on the job. I have no idea what I'm doing. No one is training me. The place is falling apart. Well, it's not your problem. I think I'm supposed to train that guy over there. I really don't feel like it. I've been really, really tired over the past week or so. I can't sleep at night. Let's just hope he gets the hang of the job without my help. Wow, what a good, what a good, you know, partner you are. All right, you go to get it together, Gregory. This is your day. The day is all about digging. Any problems you have, you leave at the door. This is a new day. Big breath. Okay. Nice. On the secret. An amethyst. Amethystos. Nice. Ay. Mistake. There we go. I picking up some more. Okay. You want this garbage? That looks nasty. Okay, what should I give you then? Do you want popcorn? Thank you, Machkin. Fine dining. Claim food.
field upgrade. Nice. Yeah, we went there. Management is coming today. I believe make a good impression. I've been practicing my business face and all. Hopefully they notice me in all this darkness. From this mine to the bowed room. Moving up. My manager is really stressed out. He told me to be quiet today. I shouldn't be... I shouldn't even be talking to you. Oh. When you don't see the sun, you can imagine it's always noon. That's what my boss says at meetings. Yeah, your boss knows a thing or two, apparently. Okay. We made it. Gathered as much ore as possible. No, wait a minute. This is not where I need to go. So this side. This side is actually supposed to, you know, not being able to reach it, right? going to be an upgrade where you can roll yeah there is probably going to be an upgrade where you can walk on rope it shines it shows that it's interactable but now I don't have that power yet except if I can press square wait a minute I'm pretty sure I don't do not have the power yet but if you jump and press square no no oh well Wrong way. Hey, frog. I got um, food for you, pork chops. Here, you can have pork chops. Yeah, I know. Here, that's for you. What? Pork chops? Oh boy. I'm so excited. They look so damn tasty. And they are. Sprout, you are a miracle, you know that? Oh, this is just so good. Ah, uh, now I feel just a bit guilty. And I'm sorry you're running all these culinary errands for me. Look, there was this kid at work, Greg. We used to have these long and tight union negotiations, all nighters. Everyone should uh, would be at the standstill. Everyone was so hungry, and and the, every restaurant was closed. I would send Greg on their endless 24-hour grocery store crawls for me. I would ask for these impossible gets: saffron, sumac, or even a ni a nice. What the fuck are all those? It was something like two o'clock in the morning. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world, a meal for everyone, on both sides of the table, to calm heads and to appease stomachs. The first part didn't always work, but everyone was always well fed. I don't know how he did it, but Greg would always find something on my list. I would joke with him that, uh, that he would have to break into people's houses to get this stuff. Jesus. Jeez, maybe he did. I don't know how, he, how you do it, Sprout. Sprout. You made it taste like you made it taste like home. Here's to you and Greg. Local Union twenty one eighty seven. So anyway, where were where we? Where's the help? Fifty eight minus eleven. Fifty eight minus eleven. Fifty. Fifty eight. Mm 
minus 11. Minus 11. God damn it, I can't have a get. Let's go get some sleep. We haven't slept in three nights. Maybe five, I'm not sure. I think one day in this game lasts 20 minutes. I think. I, I noticed that last time, so... supposed to go let me think minus 58 minus 11 50 50 there we go that's where we have to go we're gonna go past to the gate it's gonna be this is gonna take a while actually. It feels like I, I am waking them up at night because of the eclipse. Mitch too, nice. What are you? Wait a minute, oi! So hungry. I know I've been asking for a lot lately. I've got a big appetite. It goes well with my love of food. But would, would you know what I would go for? A baguette of freaking chicken. That would be, that would bring me, um, Luck? What did he say? I didn't read that very well. Because the best kind of food comes in buckets. Cooking sounds hard sometimes. In this case, it's pretty easy. Fried chicken. No, wait a minute. <gasps> I didn't want to pull it out. Fuck. Freaking chicken. So let me guess. In order to, cook, to, to manage to get chicken, you need... Yeah. You need... Chicken. Mm -hmm. Something to eat. Yeah, okay. Snack, healthy, stimulant, comfort, plain, exotic, fine dining, fine dining, healthy. Is it healthy? Okay for you. Fine dining, plain food. Okay. Where's the snake? There she is. Hmm. What do you like? Meat stew. <laughs> Wait a minute. My dessert, green salad, non-vegan food. What do I have? Quiet taste. Mm. 
Nobody can eat that, right? You do not know that. I will find someone to eat it eventually. Oh well. Might as well hug them a little bit because I haven't had hugged them all in a long time. Here, have fish. No, maybe next time. Okay, excellent. By the way, I had an upgrade, right? Let me see, can I... Can I upgrade the garden? Bright jelly, marrow plank. See your cereal grow faster. Nice. Wait a minute, what did you say? Hmm, I don't have enough... Yeah, I don't have enough lamps, no, I, as I see. Miniature diorama, full of tiny details and microfacial expression, shall be sold, okay? What's that sound? Nice job. things to plant and go fishing the ever door there it is boy gentlemen I almost lost that Nice to play something, you know, to relax a little bit. I feel way more relaxed, actually. But now, I still have one small, you know, question in my mind. What am I supposed to stream tomorrow? I do not want to go... No, do not care about your storm. No, let's go. What am I going to stream tomorrow? Another video game? I probably should not actually stream video games all the time. Perhaps I'm gonna make a small reaction kind of uh, stream. It was a nice stream, the one that I actually, you know, the one with the ads. But now I need to find a subject about streaming. I don't just want to, you know, react to memes and such. Many people do that. And there's no reason for me to actually, you know, react to such a videos because I, nobody actually will give a shit about my reaction. And now that I think twice about it, reacting uh, 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 in anything actually probably doesn't make it much of a... Uh, of a thing. Did we reach it? Did we reach it yet? There you are. My raft broke and I lost all my equipment. I was going to see my sister on... Uh, wait. I don't even remember where. She lives in a nice little town full of people. There's rice patches, a shop and a big monument. Oh, please. You need to help me. 
My sister would be able to draw you a map or something. Harry, please. If, you, if, if that's what you say, then that means that it must be on the... It must be for Ogawa, no? Where's the closest one? This one? Closest bus stop. Oh. Yeah, I think this one is the, the closest one. Later, friend. I'll find your sister. Can you actually play? No way, come on. Nah, it doesn't... It's not applied very well, but it's nice. Come on, I, you ruined my... You ruined my song! I don't, no, I don't want to... <gasps> oh, well. At least we're gonna hear a song anyway. I won't try too hard, though. I'm Zeus. Oh, crap. Okay. I said I will not try too hard, but then uh, here I am trying hard. Got that? What? How is that possible? see mm. get the sheep of no 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 wait wait travel to Sudan Museum okay shenanigans find his sister in Furugawa okay so it is in Furugawa it would be best to actually go to Sudan Museum coordinates one one mi minus one fifty where it is well I guess we will not be going there anytime soon Masha this is Masha <laughs> this is Furugawa this is where Furugawa is hey seal honestly you have no idea how much I like you your mind just can't comprehend no, I just realized something. It's ironic that I started from Furogawa only to get back to Furogawa. Well, this is what it is.
Oh, nice. I found some bees. Now, let's see. Where is your sister? I should get back to it. Yeah, okay. I live a simple life. Thank you again for your time. Hi there. Hi there. What? The goats! The thing in there! My boy! Who's your boy? What? Oh, hey. I'm browsing for some seeds. By the way, can I actually buy now? I can actually buy now. What? Oh, the game is glitched when I say it says I have thousand. Now I get it. Now that makes sense. So turns out I didn't have money. I thought I had money, but I never did. Paul, Saint Ryan, Amethyst. There we go. Good job. Hello to you too. Okay. Where is your sister? For the life of me, where? Furugawa. You said it's in Furugawa, no? You've really cursed here to this family with all your meddling. Why come here and terrorize us? I will not forget you. Get out of my sight. I'm no, I, I am fair enough. Oh dear, lost at sea? He always does this. He always has an excuse. Last year it was a new girlfriend. The year before was the bad economy. How can I be sure you're not some saint special he paid to invent a story? He might be relaxing in the sun somewhere. Here, give him this if you're telling the truth. Hopefully that stops him out of it. I'll later. Simon, this young lady told me of your misfortune. You must either be the most unlikely person in the world or you truly don't want to see your family. Enclose my address. Enclose this my address. Don't get lost this time. Your sister Agatha. Nice. Agatha, it's a Greek name. Agatha in Greek actually means How do you translate it in English? Possessions. This is what it means. But in a, in a very metaphorical way, agathos, for example, also means that someone who has much to give. Greek language is a deep language, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This has been me playing a video game once again. <laughs> I've had a great time once more. Rabbit Food, thank you so much for dropping by. It means a lot. And uh, 
I will be streaming tomorrow, yes, but what am I going to stream? I have this horrible jet lag these past few days where I'm not sure what I want to do. Do I really want to keep playing the same video games? Should I start making new content in some way? I'm not actually sure. There is not, there's not much to do. Ugh. Actually, no, there is one thing I would like to do. Now that I remembered. Remember this trend that was going on last year? Where Markiplier actually rated... Um, <laughs> actually, you know... He did this whole thing about, you know, Smash or Pass on Pokemon. Right? And then VTubers also joined in. I never reacted to all that. And it's kind of a disgrace because I am a very big Markiplier fan. I almost don't miss a single video of him making... Uh, you know, all kinds. But in this particular occasion, it's one of those times where I, I just didn't bother. And then everybody else jumped in and I was like, nah, still don't bother. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, perhaps I should do that. That would be something nice. Reacting to the trend that I just so happened to not give a shit at all. At all. That would be nice. This is probably what I'm going to do tomorrow. Finally, I found I found it, boys. I found it. Hell yeah. <laughs> T tomorrow we are reacting to... Tomorrow we are reacting to the... To the trend which I just didn't want to uh, be a part of. <laughs> now, it does not matter, but let's... Uh, let me just, you know... Why not just, you know... Let ourselves be... Just doing what we want to do. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow we are, we are going to be reacting to that trend. The Pokemon trend. I'm going to probably watch uh, the VTubing videos as well. And I'm also going to watch MatPat's video as well. You know. Because I really want to see... What he made. Because I remember that MatPat also joined afterwards. But I still didn't bother to watch. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Uh, have a good weekend. If you're going somewhere like... To meet family or... To just, you know, go see nature or something. Stay safe. And... Um, best of luck to you, to, to you all, all, all endeavors, alright? Have a good day. This has been Alexander signing off. Spirit Fair is one of amazing games. I'm definitely going to play it again, but I'm not going to play it tomorrow. I'm going to play it next week. Anyway. Goodbye. Later.